Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Blood Elf Paladin playthrough. Today we are going to be tanking Scarlet Monastery Library. We have an at-level group found in the Looking for Groups system. We're going to have a level 37 Priest on heals, level 32 Blood Elf Hunter, level 32 Blood Elf Warlock, and a level 30 Troll Hunter. Should be a pretty good time. Uh, like I said, we're all basically at level for the dungeon. And if the group is up for it, I might run this one twice back to back. And we'll see what we can get into. Our gear right now is not the greatest. But for those of you who are interested, here is what we are working with. Like I said, it's not the greatest. Part of this is to get ourselves some better gear, hopefully. So we'll see how it goes. I will rejoin you guys with a little cut once we are in the instance. See you there. Alright, we'll let everyone get into the instance. I have gone ahead and buffed everybody up with their blessings, so we should be good to go there. We've got Righteous Fury on. Let's go ahead and refresh that. 30 minutes there to generate additional rage, which we are going to need. Alright, we're getting some more buffs up. We have Shadow Protection, Blood Pact from the Imp, and Fortitude from the Priest. Looks like we should basically be good to go. I'm interested to see how much damage we take on this character, so let's get right in. Turn our floating combat bars on so we can see the health of the enemies. That could aid us a lot. Okay, this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I think I think we're gonna have to pull a little bit carefully. We have some action going on back here that we're going to want to try to get under control. I'm going to let the range deal with the one that's far away until he gets closer because I really I don't want to run out there and aggro everything back there. I am trying to utilize my seal of light so that's going to give us some passive self healing. And I'm kind of hoping that's the right move here. It's a little tough when we don't have any mana at all to speak of. And yeah, let's go ahead and get all of our mana back here. Mana is going to be very important to us. Yeah. 
And I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should be using Blessing of Wisdom as well, just to keep our mana going a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, the one thing I can see on the Paladin that's going to slow us way down is just the need to drink so much. I'm trying not to judge my seals as often as I could. And relying mainly on Consecration and on melee damage to hold threat. Uh, so we'll see how that continues to go. Right now it's been okay. I'd like to clean out this inner courtyard first. Uh, maybe we come over here. And can we pull him back? Not really. Yeah, rain of firing there was almost a good move. We just didn't quite have enough threat on it to hold everything. I think we have everything on us now. We'll get some mana back before we enter the next room, although we seem to be the only person having mana issues, so that's pretty telling.
It's really funny because sometimes I can target the enemy and I can use Righteous Defense and it works. And other times when I target the enemy and use Righteous Defense, it obviously wants us to target a friendly player. So that's a little bit weird to me. I, I, yeah, you're supposed to have to target a friendly player and then you taunt off of them. But a lot of times I target the enemy and it just taunts them directly. So I don't really know what the difference is when it's going to work one way and when it's going to work the other way. We're dazed, that's not fun. Uh, yes, you can have wisdom. You can all have wisdoms after we drink to full, and then we'll probably have to rebuff everybody, and then we'll drink to full again. Yeah, keeping track of that 10 minute buff, I have never been very good at that, unfortunately. Uh, if we get it all up on everybody at the same time, that'll make it a little bit easier. There we go. Wisdom for everybody. Uh, actually, and I probably should have realized this already, I think we have... Oh no, Blessing rank 2 is all we have for Wisdom. Okay. Uh, that's great. Let's, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, that was not what I wanted. Okay. Great. Yeah, you really, like, you can't open up with a bunch of AoEs, I don't think. Uh, Consecrate doesn't seem to get everybody right away. It seems to take a minute before we, we have everybody on us. Oh, this is lots of fun. We, we just pulled way too many. Just pulled way too many. This is going really well. Oh, we got interrupted. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. They keep interrupting us. Oh, that's so great. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and release because uh, we were the person that could res there, so. All right, some learning pains for me. Uh, yeah, we just 
pulled too many. Got a little bit over. I thought I could pull them all back into that corner, but then we pulled a bunch from around the corner, and yeah, that was no good. That was definitely, I guess that was my fault, mainly. Don't think I could blame it on anybody else. Anyone got extra water? Hmm. No. <laughs> Not really. I have the water that I think I'm going to need for the run. Uh, we almost lived through all that. It was close. I was really surprised that they were smart enough that when we were self-healing, two different times they interrupted us. That was really fun. And I'm not even being sarcastic about it. I think that that's actually great. Uh, otherwise, we might have been able to not wipe, you know. And we uh, definitely deserved it to wipe. Okay, yep. Spawn us in facing out. That's That makes a lot of sense. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what I'm finding is if people don't wait for Consecrate to tick a couple of times, uh, we lose threat on our AoE targets pretty instantly. Uh, what did we... Oh. Okay. And I guess everyone's gonna want Wisdom again. Okay, perfect. So it must have been that room that we pulled. Is there like a secret in here? I thought there was one of these rooms with like a wall that we can go through, but maybe that's not library. No mana burning, please. Nobody in this group needs to deal with that.
I guess my biggest gripe so far about tanking on the Paladin is that it sucks to be the one whose mana issues are slowing down the group. Uh, do we need to go in that room? I mean, I guess we could. Maybe we should pull these guys out of that room. Okay, uh, well, let's do, do this a little bit carefully. I want to come out here. I don't want to be inside this room. I want to be back here. So that when this happens, uh, <laughs> yes, primarily so that when this happens, we, we can better prepare for it. I feel like every Warlock that we've grouped with, both on the Warrior and now on the Paladin, they, they underperform compared to other classes. I wonder if that's just because of like the ramp up time involved with putting dots on things. Like You really need more time for that damage to get going, and on normal pulls, I just don't think there's enough time for the mobs to be alive for the dots to really tick. Uh, and I feel kind of bad for Warlocks. Yeah, Corruption, Siphon Life, Reign of Fire. Oh! 
Uh, after this room, we, we will rebuff. Let's just pull them back here just in case anything weird's going on in that room. Oh, see, we did have a patrol that came through that's going to come down right on top of us. No mana burn. We have enough mana problems as it is. Not sure what the hunter is apologizing for in chat there, no idea. Everything seems perfectly fine. Uh, what do we want to do first? Le they're both going to be three pulls. Let's, let's do this one. Simultaneous murder. Perfect. Perfect.
All right, and that just leaves the final boss, I believe. And the only trick here, I think, is to run out of the room when he does his big cast. So we'll kind of position him near the door. That way we can just line a sight him when we have to. Everybody looks good. I'd like the healer to have a bit more mana, but other than that, we should be fine. She's not drinking, so... She's... Yeah. Let, let's just go. You will not defile these mysteries. Let's put him right here. And then when we have to, we can just run out. I only see two of us out here. And two caster pieces, the, the shoulders and the rod. How lucky are these casters? Uh, actually, we only have the warlock and the priest, I guess. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for spending your time with me here in Azeroth. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.